In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate uh, drawing schematics for PCB design in Altium. So this is going to be a long tutorial, and go ahead and fast forward through the boring, uh, through the boring part. Sorry. All right, so we're going to start with um, creating a new PCB project. So we'll go File New Project PCB Project. And now we're going to create a new schematic. So file new schematic. All right. So before we forget, the first thing we can do is let's fill in this title block down here. If you control and then mouse wheel, you can zoom. And then we can place text. All right. So title demo circuit. Okay, so now let's let's draw our circuit. So let's start with our power. So we click over here on the side to libraries, and um, so we'll go to miscellaneous connectors, and we're going to use this header two. This is our two pin header, this is going to be our power connector, so we'll place header two and we'll stick it down there. And let's name this power. Double click on it and I'm going to mirror it so the pins go the, out the other side. And I'm going to go over here and add a large filter capacitor. So when you're going to place a component, you can press the space bar to rotate it. Okay. And we'll add a ground symbol. Uh, by the way, when I want to, so say I'm placing components, I can continue placing them until I hit escape. So that's very useful to know. All right, so I'm going to place some wires to connect Let's see. I don't like the way that looks i'm kind of perf I'm kind of a perfectionist so all right so now we have our power connected to our filter cap, so let's start adding in some components. So, now the first component we're going to add is our Atmel microcontroller. Now, we need to install the library. So, we'll click on Libraries, and we'll click to Install, and we'll go to Atmel and AVR Library. And while we're at it, let's also install another library that we're going to need later, which is under Texas Instruments and TI Logic Gate 1. All right, so we'll close that, and we'll notice that these two new libraries have appeared here. So we'll go to the Atmel library, and I'm going to search for the 128. All right, so I'm going to place... Yeah, Mega 128, right there. Now first, let me, before I forget, connect my power pins. All right. Now I'm going to connect uh a reset circuit here to the reset pin. 
But first, I need to import the schematic symbol that I created earlier. So this is a custom schema schematic symbol. So let me just open. There it is. And I'm going to add it to my library. Excellent. So now when I go to my libraries, I should also see my custom library. And there's my Mac 709 that I created. So I'm going to put the 709 right there. Now you'll notice that I, I missed. Here, let me zoom in. The wire didn't make it all the way to the pin. And so this is not a connection. You make a connection when these little red X's appear. So you gotta go all the way. Alright, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the libraries and go to miscellaneous connectors again and add an 8 pin straight connector like so and I'm going to put it over here again I'm going to mirror it Put it all the way on the edge. And I'm going to connect these wires straight across, except I missed. There we go. So this is a boring part. You probably want to fast forward through. I'm just going to connect these wires up. All right, now I'm going to do something a little more exciting with these top two. Let me add some Schmidt triggers. So I'm going to go to my TA logic gate and the gate that I'm looking for is the 74 AHCT oops, I forgot my star um, 14 and now you'll notice this is a multi-part component. So basically this one component has six different Schmidt triggers inside. And so when I place the part, you'll notice the first one is labeled A, the next one's B, I'm going to put the others down here, C, D, E, F. Alright, so I'm going to connect these remaining header pins. Oops. To my Schmidt triggers. And the outputs to the ABR's pins. Now, the extra Schmidt triggers over here, I'm going to ground their inputs. You need to make sure you always ground your unused inputs. Now before I get too far into this, I'm going to go ahead and save. I should have done this a long time ago. Always make sure you save early and save often. So, I'm also going to save the project.
Okay.